I became the manager of Borussia Dortmund to end Bayern Munich's dominance. But last season, we got a reality check. Bayern absolutely crushed us. And not just that, they signed our best player, Jude Bellingham. But this season, things are different. We've completely changed our formation, signed players like Hakim Ziyech and McAllister, and our team is looking better than ever. And we're not done yet. There is a certain former Dortmund player we're looking to sign. And if we can pull this signing off, I think our team will be ready to take the battle to Bayern Munich this season. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Dortmund career mode. It's a big one today. 95 million, and as I said, there is a former Borussia Dortmund player I'm looking to sign to reinforce the team. Already with the signings and formation changes we made, I think we're looking good for the season. Raum coming in, McAllister as well, Hakim Ziyech. The team is flowing well, but I really feel like a bit of extra firepower in the attack could take this team to the next level. And so there is a certain left winger I'm interested to sign. Honestly, if we can pull off that signing, trust me, we're going far this season. Already the team is flowing well. We're top of the Bundesliga. It all depends if we can pull off this signing. And we've got to be super quick as well because we've just got five days left to wrap up the transfer window and this signing. And then you would have guessed it, it's Christian Pulisic. Bro, the American dream was amazing at Dortmund and I'm afraid he wasn't able to live up to that hype at Chelsea. Maybe it's the right time to bring him back here at the Dortmund project. I love the idea of this. And what makes this even better is that his contract is expiring at Chelsea. This is literally the dream. I'm taking advantage of this, boys, and trying to get a good deal on Christian Pulisic. I genuinely feel this is a transfer that's going to reinforce our attack. I really rate Pulisic highly. And so we begin negotiating with Graham Potter again. He was kind with us to let us take Ziyech easily. And let's hope he's going to give us Pulisic pretty easily too. I'm going to offer 53 million to start with remember his contract is expiring we need to take advantage and look at that 55.4 million for Pulisic that seems like an absolute bargain in this stage we're working with it boys we are working with Graham Potter we've accepted the deal it's happening it is now time to convince Christian Pulisic to return to Borussia Dortmund the American dream back in Germany. Let's make it happen. I'm seeing if he'll accept an important squad role. Absolutely not crucial. He wants to be the star of our attack and I'm not surprised that he has what it takes I think to be just that. The freedom he'll get in our attack will be crazy. A five-year deal, no release laws, thesis demands, not too bad. A hefty goal bonus, but hey, if he can get there, we'll give him the goal bonus and there you go. Pulisic to Dortmund is happening. There he is, boys, back in the Dortmund building. You'll love to see it. And there you have it, boys. Pulisic on unveiled as a Dortmund player. I'm, I'm happy about this. I'm really happy we made this happen. He's got a second chance to prove to the Dortmund fans how good he is and this time I want to make him prove it with titles. It is my dream to get 1 million subscribers and if you guys can help me out by subscribing to the channel I'd be grateful so please subscribe. Oh this is nice. Pulisic on the left, Adeyemi on the right. Oh ho, ho, you love to see that. It's absolutely brilliant. I think I don't want to make any more signings for now. Like the, the team is good. Good. It's very good. We have about 35 million, but I think the transfer business we've done in this window is, is absolutely ridiculous. There it is. Look at that. McAllister, Simicon, Ziyech, Raum, Pulisic. I told you there was going to be a revolution at Dortmund this season. After getting humble last season, there was no way we weren't making this happen. And now I feel we've got the team take on Bayern Munich. It's time to get through deadline day. We're ready for the season ahead. Although one thing to be worried about is that we're yet to get an offer from Bayern Munich and if that comes for any of our players we will have to accept it don't forget that and on deadline day if an offer comes replacing that player is going to be virtually impossible yo Zapata is a player in demand a lot of offers coming for him I just hope it's not Bayern Munich that comes for him just about five hours left and we just need to hope Bayern Munich don't come in for any of our players and, and we'll be good no way guys I'm just looking at my team and I don't see Zapata in here guys wh wh where's Zapata no Oh, no way. No way has Zapata done us like this. I cannot believe it. For 38 million, Duvan Zapata has joined Bayern Munich. Another season of betrayal and there was nothing we could do to stop it. Ay, ay, ay. That is terrible. And the worst thing is we don't have any time to do anything. The transfer window has shut on deadline day. There was no time to bring in anyone else. Zapata has betrayed us. We actually have a message from Zapata as well. Boss, no hard feelings, but Bayern Munich are a winning club, and I want to be a part of a winning team and not your team. Wow. <laughs>
God, I just felt, I felt that here, boys. I felt that here. Zapata, you've not only betrayed us, but you've dissed me as well. It's all the motivation I needed. We need to topple Bayern Munich's reign in the Bundesliga. The real problem is that we've lost our starting striker. Now, what do we do? The good thing is players like Marlene and Adiemi can play there. But what I want to try out is using Mukoko at striker. This might be what Mukoko needs to become the next big thing. It's the perfect catalyst for him to arrive as a top, top player. So that's how we're going to run the team. We literally cannot sign anyone. Even though we have like 80 million to sign a striker, until January, nothing's going to happen. To make things worse, our next game in the Bundesliga is against Bayern Munich. We're going to be up against Zapata. I don't even get Zapata, man. He's not even a starter at Bayern Munich. Like, why? Why did you just abandon our project? And you guys, remember, we had to accept any offer that came from Bayern. Like, yeah, it, it was the rule of this series, and it's kind of put us in a bad spot, but let's hope we can carry through it. Regardless of everything that's happened in the window, this is our chance of showing Bayern Munich that whatever you do, we're here this season to dominate. We're top of the league, Bayern are struggling, this is our chance to strike. But remember, the last three games we've played against Bayern Munich, we've lost all of them. It's also Christian Pulisic's debut, and already I can feel the pace that he brings to this team, but Bayern aren't going to make life easy for him. Adiemi. There's one player who could really carry this team now. It's Adiemi. How is that not given as a foul? Hakim Ziyech. Lovely stuff for Pulisic. Cut back inside. No. Back with lawyers messed up. Adiemi scores. Offside? Offside for what? I can't believe it. Oh, referee, you fraud. I'm sure that wasn't offside. How? It's it's on. Oh, my God. That is just so unlucky. No, Serge Nabry. Oh, my God, Bayern. Good save from Kobel there. Guys, we've just got a bit too much open space here for Raum, and he's super quick. It's a brilliant run. Tough angle. And yes, he scored of all players. It is our left back that puts us into the lead. Bayern Munich, take that. Dortmund have arrived. We need to do everything to survive. Now, this is a game for pride. We have to beat Bayern Munich. Guys, I'm already getting nervous here because this could be our first win of the series against Bayern and what an achievement it would be. Ulisic getting used to playing back in the Borussia Dortmund system. Plays a good pass for Ram. Once again, who's having a nope. ridiculous game. Goes for it again. This time, Neuer sees it, but half time and we're actually leading. Now, Bayern Munich upping the anti with Booyah! Bellingham. We're not letting Bellingham score. Absolutely not. That is a crucial challenge but they're back again on the attack. Musiala Jude Bellingham. No, no, no. We can't let them score, please. Lock and Kobo saves. It's all about survival now. Ziyech. Oh, there's Pulisic's pace, which of course we're going to use. And I see Mukoko in the box. Mukoko. Oh, they stop him. Guerrero's good with set pieces, but oh, it, it might still happen. Oh, we almost scored there. Bayern on the charge once again, and I'm not a fan of this at all. Ball inside Bellingham. Oh, Bellingham's had a bit of a shocker, which I'm glad. It's done, guys. For the first time in this series, we've been in Bayern Munich. It's a statement. They took Bellingham. They took Zapata. They've tried everything to put us in the ground, but we have arrived for the first time ever. We've been in Bayern, but this is just the start. Look at the Bundesliga table after our first win against Bayern, but hey, let's not get carried away. Or maybe we should a bit, you know, because Bayern are absolutely modded this season, but you can never count them out. But yeah, it's, it's a brilliant start to our season. But of course, one one major issue we have is that the only proper striker at the club right now is Mukoko, and he didn't particularly look pretty insane against Bayern. So I'm unsure until January whether we can keep this up without a top tier striker. There are a lot of doubts, but let's see. But now the Boys Champions League is back, and look at our group. I feel like Liverpool always seem to draw Dortmund in their group, man. Villarreal is well, Shakhtar Donetsk. This is a tricky group. I'm actually thinking for this first Champions League group game, do we make a change? Do I put in Malena? striker. Uh, you know what? I want to try out Marlen and striker. We tried out Mukoko. Let's see how Daniel Marlen can do in the striker position. Last season, it didn't really work out for us in the Champions League. We focused on the Bundesliga. That didn't even work out either. But this season, I really feel like we're one of the dark horses of this competition. I guess we'll find out here at Anfield. Ziyech finish shot. Ooh, first chance at Anfield falling in our favor. She's not good at all. Is Mo Salah with the chance here? Oh, that back heel did me. That back heel absolutely did me. That is the level of the Champions League. Liverpool make it 1-0. Jota does his gaming celebration. This is not ideal. Adiemi. Oh, that's so intelligent for Baku as we're trying to get back into this game. Almost instantly. Malen. Come on. He 
needs to score that. Back in CH doing really well. Can he put the ball back in? It's decent. DME can't attack that really. This is bad. This is bad. They could score again. 2-0 down to Liverpool. This, this game is exposing us on the big stage. It feels like we still don't have the team to compete. Guys, I'll tell you this. The Malen experiment has not worked. Similar to Mokoko, I miss that physical presence of of course, Zapata, and without him, our attack feels a bit weak. We still have the technical ability of players like Adiemi, which is going to help us out, but it, it's not easy. It's not easy. As we have a chance now, maybe, but we're struggling to just have any sort of, like, connection with our forwards. Honestly, guys, I'm not feeling Malenet striker. Mukoko is going to come on for him. Also, Ziyech has not had a good game. Like, he's struggling, so we'll bring on Reina, and I'm thinking a bit more defensive cover. Nah, I don't think... Yeah, actually, let's put him on for Guerrero, because maybe that'll help. Plus, Emery Chan has played for Liverpool before. Lots of changes at halftime just to get something going in this game because we're, we're literally getting a, a, a taste of reality over here because in the Champions League, I don't think we're quite there yet. The way Liverpool press and move forward, man, it's it's absolutely ruthless. Like, it's 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 the kind of formation that we can maybe counter against. It's a really bad challenge. <sighs> we're lucky that's not a pen. But as I was saying, their style of play is so intense. Like, look at the amount of plays that just jump on one player. It's so tough to break through. And the Emmy. Sliding this one for Giovanni Reina. Tough position, but he slots it home. That's a goal that's going to give us a bit of hope. That's brilliant movement from Giovanni Reina, by the way. He's kind of been out of the team with the emergence of Ziyech, but this is where we're seeing his value. No, 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 no. Bicycle kick. What? Diogo Jota? You're not supposed to do that. That is outrageous. I can't believe he just pulled off that. That is incredible. Jota is just ruthless, man. Since when is he this good? It's a hat trick from Diogo Jota. We've absolutely been humbled in this game against Liverpool. This just goes to show how far we've got to go as a team. McAllister gets a goal back, but this game was done the moment Jota scored that bicycle kick. Do you know what? Maybe a bit of humbling is good for our team. Maybe not because the morale's down a bit and we've dropped points against Hamburg. This is not ideal. We, we, we can't be doing this. You give Bayern an inch and they'll take it all away. We're now playing Hoffenheim next and we absolutely need to beat them and get back to winning ways. The best free kick taker in the club right now is McAllister. Hallister, which is very surprising indeed. I'm going to try something. I miss Marco Royce, man. No, Royce taking free kicks is frustrating, but let's see what McAllister can do. Not too bad. Off the crossbar. That would have been one hell of a goal. Here we have World Cup winner McAllister driving the ball forward. Looking for Hakim Ziyech. Back inside for Guerrero. Some good passing from our midfield. We're moving the ball nicely. Guerrero sees Ziyech, but there's no space to operate. Finally, we find Adiemi who's kept himself on. Adiemi, what a finish. That is superb from Kareem Adiemi. 1-0. Now the chance here on the breakaway, of course, it is Hakim Ziyech driving it forward. We haven't seen much from Christian Pulisic since his signing. No. Nope. For some reason, we aren't seeing much from him. Second off, and it's a chance for Mukoko to do something. Looks for Pulisic on the other side. Go on, Pulisic. Try and get your first goal, but it's not clicking. Oh no, Ram is chasing back. He's done really well. I think our defense has really coped well with the situation. We do not want to be conceding. The scoreline is only 1-0. Sergi Roberto playing for them. Please get the ball away. And Sula saves us. They're good defending. And that's how the game ends. We get a 1-0 win over Hoffenheim. <sighs> that's a relief. Back to winning ways. I can't lie. Who is it? Needs to be doing a lot better. Let's give him a more video of three wins. Our next game is in the Champions League against Villarreal. If we bottom this, there's a good chance we could be out of the league. It's a must-win game in the Champions League. No, this is bad off the crossbar. Villarreal shocking the Dortmund fans almost. Oh boy, we can't afford to lose this game. Looking for Mukoko. Mukoko on his left foot. Nope. It's a big moment. Keeper saves. Good set piece and we almost made it 1-0. Adiemi. Oh, that's a good ball. And we've headed it down for Ziyech. And it is 1-0 against Villarreal. We needed this. Was that Pulisic with the assist? I'm not entirely sure, but we'll take that. I think it was. I think it was Pulisic with a really smart header for Ziyech. And bang, the former Chelsea players combining well. I think this has been Mukoko's best game. He's played a really complete performance. And Adiemi should have scored that. McAllister, good ball for Mukoko. That turn was smart. Hakim Ziyech now, looking for space, finesse shot, that was brilliant, but the keeper was equal to it. Oh, this is bad, this is really bad, I don't like this good save, Kobel. We don't want to be conceding in a game like this, no, no, no. Ziyech, looking for Riddle Baku, I see a bit of space here, being made, Pulisic, come on. 
No, this is bad. Good save from Kobel yet again. Chance here for Mukoko. This might be his moment. It might be his moment. No. Oh, it still might go in. No, the player slides in, but not the ball. Oh, we're really having striker issues, man, right now. Mukoko, this might be our chance to score another one. See Edge with a chip. No, what is our luck, man? Thankfully, that's the end of the game, but man, we're struggling to really score goals. We get a 1 0 win in the Champions League. Keeps our hopes at all. I can tell you this, boys, that in January, we need a new striker. Otherwise, we're going to really struggle. As good as Mukoko is as a talent, it's not there yet. That 78 million, we're putting it to good use once we're in January. But of course, there is still a while to get there. A lot of you guys are saying Adams could be a good right back. So I want to test it out in the next couple of games. Back to some more Bundesliga action. Oh, this might be the moment we've been waiting for Christian Pulisic to get on the score sheet. No, what's up with Pulisic? Okay, it's round two for Pulisic. This time, I'm just going to play it through for Adiemi, who's in, of course, incredible form. Adiemi goes for goal. I can't believe it. And this game ends in a nil-nil draw. If this doesn't tell you the striker problems we're going through, I don't know what will. Up next, Union Berlin in the Bundesliga. We need to get some goals. Adiemi's on the charge. Looking for Pulisic. It's a lovely ball. This is his opportunity. Finally, we see Christian Pulisic score. It's Adiemi and Pulisic linking up. But we needed this so much. No, no, no. How have we been opened up like that? How is he onside? No, Union Berlin score. We get exposed at the back. It's 1-1. First time I'm seeing Knopf in action. He's playing. While Adiemi's moved to the striker position. Meanwhile, is that going to help out working for us? Oh, he's got to move backwards. Ziyech now. There aren't many spaces here. Siege is trying everything. We might still have a chance here. And McAllister comes through with the goal. Brilliant passing. And Dortmund get the lead. And that's how the game finishes. Crucial three points. Going back to the Champions League. Can we follow that up with a win against Donetsk? That'd be brilliant. And yes, we do. Another McAllister masterclass. But we then drop points against Augsburg in the Bundesliga. Our midfield is having to do so much work to come through with the goals. The striker problem is crazy. So right now in the Bundesliga, you can slow slowly see Bayern climb up and also we're in the fight for the title currently unbeaten in the league but RB Leipzig are one point above us and guess what we play RB Leipzig up next guys if we can win this game somehow that puts us in the driver's seat for the Bundesliga title if we lose I reckon it's it's gonna be a ticket for Bayern Munich to claw their way back up so let's not let that happen and Mukoko breaking through looking for Kareem Adiemi one we won for Adiemi and oh he does not miss those but for once he misses no and now they're absolutely cutting us open. Timo Werner's on the attack. Don't like this at all. Good defending. Come on. Pulisic has really found his rhythm now at Borussia Dortmund, which is what we needed. And here goes Christian Pulisic. That is brilliant from Pulisic. We needed that. And he steps up in one of our biggest games of the season. 1-0 against Leipzig. Guardiol. Ooh, risky from Schlotterbeck, but that timing was impeccable. Not a bad performance from Mukoko. It might be his best game so far in a Dortmund shirt. Oh, but he tried to go for a chip, but couldn't make it work. Oh, once again, Pulisic. Could he score again? Oh, he might just score again. It's off the crossbar. I need to stop going for the chip shots. We could have closed this game way before that. No, we've been opened up. Madison goes for it. Cobalt saves. Get it away, boys. No, that is, that is just unbelievable. Such a silly goal to concede. Adiemi. Mukoko. Oh, come on. That was his moment. He's got to take our chances. Oh, what a pass that is for Pulisic. Surely he's going to score. And Pulisic does not disappoint. This is the game. He has finally arrived at Dortmund. I see you, Pulisic. I see you, Pulisic. Looking for that hat trick. Pulisic is nope. in the mood. Oh, he couldn't get the hat trick. But Adiemi gets it. Blocked away. Oh, what a run that is from Giovanni Reina. He's completely broken through. And this could be the goal to settle this game. And Reina scored against Liverpool. And now he's done it again. 3 1. Come on. Oh, look at the spaces opening up. McAllister, who loves scoring goals these days, gets himself another one. And that should be the result. We're taking home the top spot in the Bundesliga. There you go. That's how the game finishes. And as I said, top of the league. We're doing everything to make this our season. Meanwhile, in the Champions League, we've kind of bottled it. I thought it was going to be an easy win. But only a draw against Shakhtar. And that puts us in a bit of a tricky spot in the Champions League. 
League. Next episode, we'll find out whether we get out of this group or not. And also, we probably need to bring in a new striker to reinforce this team. So a lot to look forward to in this Dortmund career mode. While you wait for the next episode, click here to watch another video from me. It is my dream to get 1 million subscribers. And if you guys can help me out by subscribing to the channel, I'd be grateful. So please subscribe.